Hi. Well, it's uh, Saturday, the 30th of January, and uh, it's been a really cold, cold, cold day so far. Uh, but I've checked the weather forecast, and uh, apparently it is due to clear tonight for a few hours. Um, really, I'd not like to get out the full rig just for a short session like that, but it seems such a shame to not do something. Um, I've decided actually tonight I think I'm going to get out my AZ GTI, a uh, small star tracking mount, uh, and just use the DSLR and lens and hopefully get a wide field image of the Orion constellation and hopefully catch some nebulosity. Um, I've just checked Stellarium and Orion will be kind of well placed for me in my location uh, by around 9pm. Uh, there'll be around a 90% illuminated moon I believe about 90 degrees away uh, so that's certainly not going to help things but it's never really stopped me from trying before so we'll see what we get I just thought I'd film a quick update now. Uh, it's just turned about 6.30 p.m. and uh, it looks like the weather forecast was right because it has started to clear. Um, so I'm hoping it next hour or so it should go from being partly cloudy to mostly clear as it promises and uh, I can really get started then. So hopefully you can see just behind me now, uh, the sky is largely half cleared and uh, Orion's in a shootable position now. Uh, but before I begin I thought I'd take a moment to talk about the gear I'm going to be using tonight. So the camera I'm using is a Bada modified Canon 700D. Um, I can't really shoot unfiltered at this wide, uh, I think the gradients are be too hard to handle basically. Um, so instead I've got a small... Uh, 48mm UHC filter by Optolon. Um, this has a 49mm thread natively, so I had to get a small step down ring to go uh, 49 to 48 to allow me to fit an astronomy filter on the front, but um, that works brilliantly. Uh, not currently fitted, but will be in a moment when I actually set up. Um, it's a small dew heater because uh, that'd end my session within an hour, I think, if I didn't have one of those attached. Uh, the mount itself is a Skywatcher AZ GTI um, with an equatorial wedge and the equatorial firmware loaded too, which allows you to uh, basically take long exposure shots without field rotation becoming a problem, uh, which is perfect for tonight. Uh, I'm aiming to be taking 60 second exposures and just as many as I can really of um, the whole constellation. I've checked the framing and on Stellarium it looks like this little 50mm lens should nicely frame just about the whole constellation, which uh, could lead to a nice image. Um, as to the tripod, uh, I, I actually repurposed a surveyor's tripod that I bought uh, just for this really. Uh, it didn't take really much modification, this was someone else's idea on a forum that I saw, I just thought, well why not, it's about the same price as the Skywatcher part, but um, we're available on the day I needed it. and. It really is, I mean, it's rock solid, so I can't see wind, rock or such being a problem. I mean, I wouldn't really expect anyone on such a small rig, but at least uh, that's one less worry out of my mind. 
So tonight's polar alignment is going to be about as rough as it comes. Um, basically, it's just going to be make sure the bubble level on the mount itself is uh, showing level. Um, make sure that the axes of the mount uh, are both basically visually zeroed, not really worrying too much about it being exactly perfect. Um, and then I'm just going to turn live view on on the camera and uh, center Polaris in the uh, overlaid crosshairs on the live view video feed. And I'm going to call that just about done. So I decided uh, just now to get the correct framing. I think I'd use this middle star in Orion's belt, which is called Almilan. Um, I'll just go to that now, and uh, you should see the mount slow away. And there we go. I just used Beetlejuice as a one star alignment, and uh, my polar alignment must have been quite close because it almost put it dead center. I know it's only a 50mm lens, but still, I'm uh, pretty pleased. So everything's up and running in now. Uh, I've got it shooting 60 second subs, uh, ISO 800. Um, I just watched the first sub come in and decided to double check it to make sure everything was working correctly and tracking. And it's a good job I did because um, I'd actually forgotten to stop down the lens. So it was still at f1.8, um, which might sound like a good thing, but it honestly leads to just disastrous stars and corners look terrible. So. I'm actually going to be using an f3.2 tonight um, to hopefully sharpen things up a good bit. Uh, it's now about 10 past 9. Um, Orion's just moved to the western side of the meridian, so I've just done a meridian flip with a little AZ GTI. Uh, Realigned, refocused, uh, and everything's back going again. I think I captured about an hour of subs up to this point. Um, unfortunately, I've now got this to deal with, which is uh, not great, but what can you do? Well, it's just turned midnight now. Um, that's the end of my image capture for the night. Unfortunately, the target went down below uh, my neighbor's roof, so I couldn't stay on it any longer. Um, the night itself ended up quite beautiful, really. Uh, all the clouds cleared, uh, the wind totally died as well, so it doesn't even feel like cold anymore. Um, as to sub exposures, I'm not really sure how many I've got just yet. I'll have to check through them and see uh, how many I've worth stacking but I'm sure I'll have enough to make at least something um, as to how good it is that still remains to be seen um, but I really can't complain because uh, this is really unseasonable to get this, this many clear nights really in such uh, short succession um, unfortunately I don't know if I mentioned earlier but next week's weather looks just a total wash so uh, I don't think there'll be anything coming then but if you did enjoy uh, watching my video, then thank you very much for spending the time watching it. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure. 